So, uh, second hackathon project uh, contains uh, several useful parts. First of all, we have that suggest button here in tables. It allow you to it allows you to uh, select uh, related tables easily. So as you see right now, we have that uh, CA page, and it suggests us to add CA page detail table. Okay, let's do that. Up to that, we can go to relations tab, and we also have that suggest buttons here. So we can uh, click suggest, and it will add uh, some relations. So right now it has some bug, and it's two uh, two lines. It should be one line. <coughs> so, and after that you can click that one suggest button to add. Uh, actual link here. Let's save. We are done. Our generic inquiry is modified. We now have that linked joint table. And uh, let me describe a bit what uh, lies behind the scenes here. So behind the scenes here we have a full uh, model of uh, data access classes. Let me show it. It looks like like that. Here is the graph uh, of uh, link links between uh, data access classes in Ecumatica. So as you see, uh, currency data access class uh, has a lot of connections. So, for instance, inventory item have some has some connections. Shell batch also, and well, you can find any data access class that you want, and you can see what it is connected to. So, and these uh, buttons, such as buttons analyzing that uh, relations and uh, suggests the most frequent one. To build that uh, connections, we just analyze the entire uh, Ecumatica code to find uh, all the joins, all the where conditions and uh, all the attributes and we build uh, that graph based on that. So. I believe it will be also uh, possible to uh, build that graph for uh, customized Acumatica instances. I mean, your customiz uh, customized uh, tables will also be included into that graph. And uh, let's see uh, what else uh, this project can do. Uh, Let's go to journal entry screen. Yeah, journal transactions. <laughs> Let's open some tra journal transactions. And as you can see here at the uh, top right corner of the screen, I have uh, this new button. I can click it and start field capturing. Up to that I will click some fields. I can click uh, fields from uh, one data access class, I mean from uh, jail batch. I can click fields from other data access classes from Childs. And here I will have that uh, field that I clicked on uh, listed. 
I can even uh, go to another screen. And continue clicking fields here. After that, I can click that button. And my generic inquiry is ready. As you can see here, it contains all the uh, data access classes that I clicked. And it contains all the fields. It also contains all the joins between these tables. So it uses the same mechanisms. It analyzes all, all the connections between uh, tables and it builds uh, the best connection it may think of. So, uh, as I said, uh, these two projects uh, were created on 